Okay, we're back from Schaumburg. We've been out of town for five days. Let's see if they hatched while we were gone. We have Maddie Hogs. No, nothing hatching there. Okay, Mexican Black Kings. Did you guys decide to hatch? Surprisingly, no. I thought they would have hatched while we were gone. Okay. Sunk. Yeah, this one sunk. That egg was growing out and now it's back in. But it looks like there's a dark mass in there, like yeah. a snake is in there. Well, I might take a closer look at that one to make sure they're okay. How about in here? Any Madagascar giant hogs? Wow, they still didn't hatch. Oh! Oh! But the, the rat corns did! I didn't even see them back Hey, there. they're hatching! Cool! All right, baby rat corns! We have babies! Oh my goodness! Uh, our staff is using all of our carts, so we are going to cut this remaining egg on the Universal Rock Sledge we just got yeah, for our retake. A bunch of stuff for build off. Yeah, we have so much stuff for build off. And a bunch of stuff for the zoo. Because yeah. we've been we've been needing to upgrade some things in the zoo. Yeah, so and it just arrived. So yeah. we're very excited. But today is baby day. So we've got rat corn in here. So a nice little scaled baby it looks like. And that egg we have to cut. But first let's uh, take we gotta a scale look. This. We got a scale list. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're so ugly. Don't no, he's cute. Yes, he is. Oh, you're so cute. Hi, buddy. Is that one in oh. blue already? Yeah, that one's yep. already in blue. That one's probably going to be in blue soon. Probably. Come here. Oh, you're so cute. Let's get you out of this little container. Hi, you look so derpy. Oh my goodness, you're a really nice scaleless. Holy cow, there's like no scales at all on you. Yeah. Wow. Just a big old skin. Yes, yes. Bunch of skin. <laughs> Bunch of skin. Skin, yes, that's what we'll just stick with. Then there's no kinks in the tail or anything. Yeah, these uh, these actually don't have any kinks, which is nice. Because yeah. usually we get a handful with these. With this ba these babies, oh, are you sassy too? Oh, you are, look at you. Uh, we had an issue a couple years ago, maybe it was last year, where we had the previous male that we used for breeding. It seemed like his babies produced a lot of kinks. So we retired him, found him a pet-only home, and now we only use Buck, or this year, we only used Buck as our male. And I think that was the problem, because I don't yeah. see any kinks. At yeah, all. Even in the one over here. Yeah, let's take a look at this one. Do you have that one's so mean too? Like, oh, come here. So I'll show mean. you. <laughs> oh jeez. How about you? Are you mad? You're he's a big like, baby. No, I'm tired. Leave me oh, alone. He's got two spots on his nose. Right there. Aw, he does. Oh, that's adorable too. Okay, yeah. Do you have any any kinks? This was kind of an experimental year to see where the kinks were coming from. Nothing. Ooh, looks fine. So it was that male. Well, I'm glad that we retired him then. Put him over here. Okay, you can go over here. You guys go oh, together. Sorry. How dare you touch me when I'm <laughs> rattling my tail. Look at how far back he's leaned. <laughs> Oh, you are very scary. A little bit more and he's going to fall off your hands. Yeah, really? Hi. That's when you just like, push. Oh, <laughs> oh, meanie. <laughs> I barely tapped him. <laughs> Let's check your belly. Does that look good? Yep. Gosh, that's just so cool. They're scaleless except their belly. Yeah. Look at you. You are just so just skin-y, you know? skin -y. There's not even a single row of scales down your back. You are a really nice scaleless snake. Wow. Okay, well, let's see if the last egg... Is also scaleless. I'm sorry. I'm gonna kind of squish you guys all together here for now, because otherwise no! you're gonna do that. No, we are going to escape. Let's keep you all in here. No, that's not gonna happen, is it? Yeah, I'll just go grab another bin from okay. over here. Look, the frid, the incubator's not done. Still. Come on, you can cut this part, Michael. No, I don't think I will. We're coming back. Emily is being weird. Baby smell. I love baby smell. You guys are so cute and I love your smell. Oh. Like I said, she's being weird. Baby snake smell, I love it. Okay, you guys go in there. I'll just put you in with your egg. Now this last egg, will it be scaled or will it be scaleless? Uh, I'm gonna go with scaled. Uh, They're always scaled. It's a 25%, ch no wait, it's a 50% chance. Yeah. I'm gonna go with scaleless. But it's always scaled. Let's see, let's see. Oh, is it healthy first off? Oh, yeah, that's like super clear goop. Yeah, that's a good sign. Okay, is the last baby of this very small clutch, which we did not film the egg video on because we didn't think these were going to hatch, but they did. Is it scaled or scaleless? Oh! I think that's scaleless. It's it's scaled, but it's an amel. Oh. I forgot that. Wait, what? That means that Buck means is... That means Buck's amel, unless they retain sperm. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I bet they retain sperm from that other male. And that's scaled. 
Yep, definitely scaled, but it's an AML slash kind of albino. Cool. That is a surprise. All uh-huh. right. So since that must have been retained sperm from the previous dad, I'm curious on if it's going to have a kink. Yeah. So we'll see when it comes out. That's quite a surprise, though. I was not expecting no. a male. Yeah, that's cool. That's, that's awesome. Aww. Oh, I can't wait to meet you. All right, well, we'll give um, this guy some more time in the incubator and them to it just to keep him nice and toasty warm. I say we just set that one in here and we throw it in the Pepsi fridge. Oh, okay. Like, we'll just, yeah, we'll just set him take in. the whole container. Yeah, just throw that here. in here. You then we don't have to here. deal with those stinky ones. Aw, oh, not stinky. Lovely smelling babies. And then we just take this and we walk it over here and we have Emily open it. Uh oh, I don't know if it's gonna fit. Uh oh, on top. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Smaller container. Okay, Ellie here is going to smell oh. baby snake smell. What's it smell like to you? It smells a bit like dead cockroach. No, no, I know. So some cockroaches will like vomit up like bad smelling water when they're scared. That's okay. what it smells like. Oh, so it's like the hissing cockroaches hiss. Yeah, that yeah. smell. It's okay. Like the, the like, and then it's, yeah. there you That's go. So specific. So that is baby snake smell. There we go. Okay, <laughs> we've gotten Bachmans, we've gotten I think dirt and um, no. roach vomit. Yes. Roach vomit. There we go. Eventually, you'll all be able to relate something yeah. to what baby snake smell is. Awesome. And now they're in a shorter container. And now they're in a shorter container. There you go. And we slide them in. Bye. We'll see you when you come. And out. we close it up. We'll come back tomorrow. Well, it's been a couple days. Yeah, we're outside now. We're outside because the A-male still hasn't hatched, and now there are gnats in here, yeah. and there are gnat larvae on the A-male's egg. So I don't think he made it. We're gonna open it outside so the gnats come out here and not in our building. Yeah, well, let's take gnats are gross. Yeah, they drive they drive me crazy. So here's the A-male. I definitely smell a rotting smell too. Yeah. So I don't think, oh, oh, Ooh. that's full of maggots. Yep, that. Do you have tweezers on you? Uh, no. Yeah, poke him with your... No. Yeah, that's not moving. He did not make it. That's a Aww. bummer. Well, I mean, at least we have the... Three healthy ones. Yeah, three healthy ones. We have two beautiful scaled babies, and we have one beautiful scaleless baby. So that's pretty cool. I guess we'll go in and set them up here soon. Yeah, and maybe that email didn't hatch because... He must have been from the old male that we sold as a pet mm, only because yep. he had the he threw a lot of kinked babies, which is why we're like, oh, we're not gonna breed them anymore. And these three don't have kinks at all, so I'm pretty sure they're Bucks babies, and they look great. And I, I just think it was the retained sperm from a dad with poor genetics, which is probably why that baby didn't make it. Yeah. So it might be for the best. We're gonna get all these gross gnats out of here. We're gonna clean up that egg and set these babies up in baby bins. Hooray! Are they? Well, hopefully they're under the cork. Yeah, it's hopefully been, they didn't escape into the incubator. Yeah, it's been a few days and we knew we weren't going to have time to move the baby rat corns into their baby bins right away because we had our enclosure build off. So we just kind of put a piece of, we, we took them out of the perlite, put them in this bin with paper towel and just a piece of cork to hide under for a few days and I don't see them. So it's furry. Furry? It's like something furry right there. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Um... Weird. I don't know. It's like this wasn't cleaned properly. Yeah. Come on, staff. All right. No weird. All right. Hopefully they're there. There they oh. are. Yep. Good. I see three heads. Well, I see two heads. And a scaleless. And a scaleless. So. Oh, he's so wrinkly. Hi, buddy. Can I steal you before you take off? Oh my gosh. Look at that scaleless little rat corn. You are so cute. Okay, so let's make sure none of these have, oh, you know, we checked these for kinks. Yeah, we checked um, all these for yeah, kinks, because one had really bad kinks. That's right, and then we were able to decipher, or determine that it was the dad the that was causing the kinks. Yeah, the A-male unfortunately never hatched. Yep, but so, that one had a lot of kinks, if I remember correctly. I don't know if we ever took it we, out. We pulled it out and looked at it. Did we? Yeah. It's been a whirlwind these last, yes. like this last week. It had like a kink, like, Oh, one of those. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I remember that. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, the A-male had a bunch of kinks. So we suspect since it was an A-male and the dad of these guys wasn't het A-male, we think that he must, the female must have retained sperm from that other male. That's a male. Look at how long that tail is. Oh, yeah. The tail starts like there. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely a boy. <laughs> All right. How about this one? You are, oh, a girl, I It'd think. hard to focus on it's, what you're going to be. This one has a pretty short tail. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's a female. It probably. tapers right away. How about the scaleless? Are you a boy or a girl? You are probably the best scaleless we've ever produced. There's like no scales on you. Yeah, that one look, is really pretty. You look really good. Okay, let's see if we can uh, 
sex you. You are a girl, I think. It looks like it tapers yeah, right think, away. It's a, a girl. pretty short tail. Yeah, you're a little scaleless girl. Yeah. Hi. I love their little fish hook heads. Yeah, they or always... dog nose heads, I guess, depending on what you look at it. That's right. Yeah, the little the head stamp. Yeah, it looks like, you're right, it does look like a little dog nose and smile on the scaled ones. The scaleless. Yeah. It looks know. like, I can't think of anything PG to relate it to. <laughs> So, it uh, looks like whatever you guys think it looks like. All right, yeah. we'll leave it at that. <laughs> so, we are going to set them up in their baby bin, and I think, should we just keep all three of them together? Yeah. It seems to work so well with babies. Bull snakes are like the one that they do well individual. Yeah. Everything else we breed, though, does so much better in little pairs or trios. So, since we have a trio, we're just gonna put them all together in a baby bin. Plus, it saves space. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so, we have our baby bin here. Back end here, the sticker side is going to be the heated end, and then the clear side is what's going to face the front. We will add a little bit of moisture for the babies. Should we give them? No, I'm not going to give them the cork because no, clean that. Yeah, cork. what is up with that? Okay, but yeah, we'll give I you. I got a hide. All right, they have a hide. They have some leaves. We'll give them a tube for funsies right there. Then you can have another leaf over here. And this is a homemade water dish that was given to us by a fan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cauldron. Yeah, it's adorable. And we're gonna use this for. We've actually used it for quite a few of our other snakes uh, from time to time. But now it's gonna be for we need babies. Something rough still. Oh yeah, we need a rock. Oh here you go. Oh I was perfect. Throwing that when you were talking with someone. Yeah, you were very distracted. There we go. Got a rock. Perfect. So there's our baby bin. We're gonna add scaled baby number one, scaled baby number two, and scaleless baby. There you go. All right, let's put them in the baby rack. <gasps> There's space here. Ooh. Oh my gosh. You can stand there now. Look, it's my display. <laughs> oh, I see. That's where the Ed yep, stays. Yeah, that's where the Ed stands. <laughs> Places where people can't see them because it's not in the zoo. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you can hide from the public. So if you ever come here and you're asking where Ed is, I'm right there. And <laughs> I'm not coming Against out. the wall. <laughs> I just love this scaleless. Look at his big eyes. Yeah, you do have huge derpy eyes. Let's see. We have to show everybody your eyeballs. Come here. I want to look at your eyeballs. Aww. You are so cute. All right, buddy. Here <laughs> you go, Mr. Wrinkly. Back in the baby bin. And then baby bin. It's gonna go down here next to our Madagascar giant hog nose babies. And it's nice and tight, it as you can hear. Yeah, we're putting them near the bottom because there's less and less of a gap the further down you go because yeah. the weight of these bins kind of pressurizes the ones down below. So I had to drill holes on the side so they have ventilation, of course. Yeah. But they will not escape that bin. Nope. Should we show off Dad? Yeah. Hey, Buck. Here's Buck. The scale is dead. Oh, dude, calm down, calm down. You're a program animal. Would you calm down? He's like, no. There, yeah, I guess he's had enough today. Yeah. Here he is. Buck, you're such a good boy. You're a friendly snake. You're a good looking snake. And you're a dad. You're he's a good breeder. out a little bit when we pull you out of your bin. Yeah, why are you doing that backup thing? But this is what that email, or the email, this, this is what the scaleless baby should look like. Like, the spots should darken and turn more of like a maroon a maroon color yeah as as that baby ages and she'll look like him yeah. i assume as she and gets. no matter what color they start out as they turn this orange yeah because we held back um wrinkles wrinkles we'll call them wrinkles yeah. yeah on the video we held him back because he was white uh, as a baby and you could see his heart beating through his skin and we're like that's super cool and see what he looks like as an adult and now he looks like this he turned orange. Yep. So we're expecting that little female that just hatched will probably do the same thing. I think just all of his scaleless babies are gonna look orange. Yeah. So really pretty though, really pretty snakes. And we, we managed to hatch one scaleless so far Hooray. this year. We do have a second clutch of rat corn eggs though that are cooking and due to hatch in about a week or so from today. So by the time this video comes out, They're they'll probably, probably already hatched. have already hatched uh, a while ago. But yeah, stay tuned for a second baby uh, rat corn video coming out soon because we are getting more of these as well. So thanks guys for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, as always. We love you guys and we will see you next time.